Today we will review sixth grade math lesson 8.3. This lesson will cover how to write algebraic e expressions to model situations. Here's your I can statement. I can use variables to write an algebraic expression to represent a real world problem and I can explain my solutions to others. Let's review some vocabulary for today's lesson. Make sure you write this down in a spiral notebook so you can review it. So we have algebraic expressions. So those are going to be expressions that represent a situation and they contain one or more variables and numbers. Then we have variable. So then I have variable, constant, and coefficient. So a variable is a symbol or letter that's used to represent an unknown quantity that can change. So what's important to know that variables change, okay? Those can change. If you look at the, you know, the root word of variable is vary, and to vary in the English language means to change. Now we have the other thing called constant. Constant is a specific number that does not change. It remains the same. It's steady. For example, in an ex algebraic expression, if you have the number two all by itself, it's always the number two. It just stays the same. Then the last vocabulary word we have is coefficient. Coefficient is a number that's multiplied by the variable in an algebraic expression. And a coefficient, you can look at it as it unites in action. So the number is uniting with the variable when you have the coefficient like that. So let's look at an example here of parts of an algebraic expression right here. So if we're looking here at 4x plus 2, 4 is the coefficient. It is multiplied by the variable, and it's right next to it, and it unites in action. x is our variable. That means it is a symbol used to represent change. And 2 is the constant. 2 remains the same. Number 2 is just the number 2. I encourage you to pause this video and complete these problems on your own. And then after you do that, just start the video and see how you did. Here's our first example. At the Lakeside Mall, it costs $5 to enter the parking lot plus $2 for each hour. Let H represent the number of hours. Write an algebraic expression to represent the cost in dollars to park at the Lakeside Mall for H hours. Write an expression to represent the cost to enter the lot. So the cost to enter the lot is given here, and that's $5. Write an expression to represent the cost of each hour. So it says $2 for each hour. And if it says the cost of each hour, remember of means multiplication in math. So it says $2 for each hour or of each hour. So that's 2 times H or 2H. And now we're going to combine these expressions. Because of this here, it says plus, so I know I'm going to be adding. So you always go back to your word problem and underline and highlight keywords and phrases to figure out what the operator will be. 
combine the expressions so we would have 5 plus 2h or 2h plus 5. Let's go on to the next part. It says identify each part of the expression 5y minus 3. 3 would be my constant because that does not change. y is my variable because it is unknown and it can change. And the 5 that sits right next to the y, and it's multiplied by the vario, that would be my coefficient. All right, the next example says write an algebraic expression for the word expression. Okay, so we want to write an algebraic expression. Um, one thing I want you to understand here is we have keywords and phrases. And if you go back to your module um, 4.5 video, we talked about doing a word bank for the four operators. So hopefully you wrote down those words for adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. If you didn't, maybe go back to that video and watch it. So when we see the word difference, we know we're saying that it's going to be subtraction. Another thing to keep in mind that subtraction and division are not commutative. So order matters with subtraction and division. We cannot change them around. For example, if we look at this problem here, addition and multiplication are commutative. That's why we can write this problem as 5 plus 2h or 2h plus 5 because that has the commutative property. Okay, let's look at the first one. The difference of 27 minus 27 and n. We would write that algebraic expression as 27 minus n. b divided by 4. Again, order matters. So we would have b is being divided by 4. And the product of 8 and z. I could write that 8 times z or 8z as a coefficient and a variable. Because we know that they're multiplied together. That's understood in math when you have a coefficient and a variable. Question 7. Tom is 8 years younger than John. Let J represent John's age. So they're giving you the variable here in the problem that they want you to use, and they're saying J is going to represent John's age. And we know that Tom is eight years younger than John. Write an algebraic expression to represent Tom's age. So we know that John is younger, that Tom is eight years younger than John. So we do J minus eight to represent Tom's age. There are twice as many songs on Amanda's relaxation playlist. When you see the word twice, that means we are gonna be multiplying. Let W represent the number of songs on the workout. So they gave us the variable they want us to use in this problem to write an algebraic expression. Write an algebraic expression to represent the number of songs on Amanda's relaxation playlist. Well, it's twice, so it's twice the workout. And remember 2w, or I can write that 2 times w, either one. That is our lesson for Module 8, Lesson 3, Grade 6.